In today's YouTube video, we have something very exciting where we can turn tiles, if you ever use the dash dash tiled command, into these beautiful wallpapers. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. This is kind of a home brewed uh, tool made by Bogard here in the Mid Journey community. So big shout out to him. First things first, what we're gonna have to do is um, get the link for the actual, I'm just gonna download the HTML here. And as you see, when you open it up, it just brings open a black screen here. Okay, what do we do with that? Well, you're gonna copy the link from the Discord Mid Journey. Let me uh, quickly. Let's pick, uh, let's pick this one right here. Copy, paste it. Boom, as you can see, it repeated this square tile that we it repeated this square tile. That's all I gave it to work with. And it produced this image, but I'm not done yet. If you hold control and you zoom out, <laughs> look what happens. <sighs> look at that. So you can actually repeat it as much as you want. Again, that's kind of like your base 1080p resolution. And then this would be almost like 2K and then 4K. Uh, to whatever you want. So this is this is amazing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this in the retina display resolution. I'm gonna upscale it 16 times. So I don't know what that's gonna be. I'm, look, I'm gonna show you the resolution after. It might be like a 200 megabyte file or something like that, or maybe more even. <laughs> but we're gonna turn this wallpaper into like a 32K Folder. I'm gonna throw it on the the 4k TV in the living room and see how good it looks and uh, Furthermore, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to make the tile command. So for example Slash imagine mm, Let's do something creative this time uh, Mac OS desktop wallpaper Ab Direct art. And I'm going to do colorful liquid explosion. Dash dash tile. Need not worry about aspect ratios or anything like that because you actually want it as a square so that when it repeats, everything lines up. And it's beautiful how this does line up because if we zoom in here, it's like, where are the seams? <laughs> Tell me where are the seams? <laughs> I don't see any seams. And I'm looking and this isn't an upscaled image or anything like that quite yet, but it just, it looks so good. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely beautiful. I'm hard pressed, to, hard, hard pressed to find any seams in that. Truly wonderful. This looks like a wallpaper at the Queen, uh, the King's coronation. Something they put in the background. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh the page. The page here again. I'll, I'll drop the link uh, to the actual Discord message in the comment section below. So if you go there, I will show you. Um, you're gonna have to download this HTML or there's like a web version that you could also do. I'll paste both in the comment section below so you can easily get to it. But then when we find one that we like, so uh, I think this, these two look most like something that you'd see coming straight from Apple. Drag drop and look at that. Just that per so you can start to see it when you kind of zoom out because that's how your eye works. But if you're zooming in like this much, it almost kind of fades away. Let's refresh the page here. And <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble one day. I always bring it up my finder window and my downloads. It's like, <laughs> Jay, what's that? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think um, if you ever do something cosmic, I'm just going to do one more for quick reference. Just a bunch of text <laughs> about what I'm looking for. 
And then um, what I do like about, I don't know if I'm on raw mode. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, I'm on raw mode, okay. So we're gonna have a bit more of an uh, opinionated one. I actually prefer the more unopinionated. All right, one more thing I want to bring up real quick and we're gonna check out the Galaxy, the Cosmos. When you right click and save as, it'll bring up an HTML, .html. So instead, once you have the desired resolution, I would recommend just going and searching up screenshot or maybe in your case, it'll be grab or snip tool same thing um, and then kind of just like highlight the section copy it and then drop it into an upscaler if you want to be that really little crisp resolution so without further ado let's check out some of these cause so we can't take that one because that's got your shutter stuck <laughs> um but this one's looking sexy i like that one on the bottom right and i do like that first one so let's do a quick one four and then up here those are kind of cool. I think the second one takes the cake and I'm gonna do the third one. Sorry if those weren't the ones that you preferred, but <clears throat> I'll let you play around with it on your own. Let's go to Discord here, refresh the page. Yeah, what a hero, what a true legend for dropping this, um, the code in the Discord. Cause you can make some really beautiful wallpapers with it. And like I said, on the on the back burner, I got that one running in um, the first one we looked at, running a 16 times upscaler on the retina resolution. So that thing is gonna be a fat file. And I, I can't wait to show you guys <laughs> what it looks like uh, in, in 4K. Ooh, yeah, see that one, I think I might've upscaled the wrong one. I think that one was the one with the, um, Shutter shock stuff. But yeah, you get the idea. I think it looks really clean. And I, honestly, I think some of the, who, who made that? I gotta give him a little bit of a shout out here. If we hop into Discord, Sisley, what up? Honestly, beautiful, beautiful resol beautiful images here. I love what you've done with the place. Truly stunning. The birds. You can start to see a little bit of a tile action in that one, I feel like, but with um, with this one here, it's just flipping flawless. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Anyway, I'm gonna see if she'll share the prompt with us. And uh, again, I'm gonna give one more big shout out to Bogard for creating this HTML output here. And like I said, there's a JS bin so basically what you can do is just use it right in browser. So let's just pretend this is a tile, even though it's not. And it, it'll repeat it in, in browser. Um, so you don't have to download anything, but I do feel like just getting that HTML. I, if, I guys, if I give you guys that link, it's, it's clean. Um, if you get that link right here and that quick HTML file that'll just basically bring up your browser and duplicate the image across whatever zoomed in or zoomed out resolution that you have. So I'll send a link uh, to this message into the comment section of the video so you guys can check it out and try it for yourself. Again, if you're going to make one, it's just that dash dash tile command after whatever prompt you want. Leave the aspect ratio alone. And uh, I can't wait to see what some like more realistic looks are gonna look like, or maybe some material looks like some brick or stone or grass, if it'll actually make it kind of flawless so you can't see the uh, seams, which it did a really good job with the past couple ones. So I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. Anyway, I hope you learned something today, guys. I really hope this helps you in your journey of creating AI art the best you can. If you did like the video, please drop a like and consider subscribing. I'm gonna be dropping a lot more of these kind of hidden thread tool tips to create new stuff every single day. Anyway, thanks for watching.